On this episode of Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica. Bienvenidos a Argentina. Bienvenidos a Córdoba. Tommy Cocha takes control of Los Cinco with victory number two in Argentina. We get technical inside Aero Atelier's Hangar 3. Con el flap, cuando tengo primero, fíjate la, la ala. Fíjate vos de este lado, ¿no? Es que se baja todo. Before sitting down with Córdoba's hometown hero during the 84th Abierto Oste del Centro, presented by Fibercorp. Bienvenidos a Panamá. Then we take a drive to the Pacific coast of Panama. I went to school in, uh, in San Diego, played college golf, and didn't want to leave. And enjoy the ride at the Lexus Panama Classic, presented by World Jewelry Hub. You're watching. Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica. Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica. Hola, mi nombre es Luciano Giametti, soy de Mar del Plata, Argentina y estoy con amigos de mucho tiempo. Mi nombre es José Toledo y yo soy de la ciudad de Guatemala. Estamos acá en la cumbre, a unos minutos de la ciudad de Córdoba, donde se va a disputar el 84 Abierto 2 del Centro en Villa Allende, donde vamos a dar un, un vuelo que esperemos lo podamos hacer. Sí, ya estamos preparados con un setercito y ahorita vamos a ir a ver a qué tipo de aeronave nos subimos. Vamos, Lucho. Vamos, dale. Listo. Vamos, sí, sí, dale. Andy. José, sí, un gusto. gusto. Un gusto. Bienvenidos a Gracias. Gracias. Andy Hedegger, a Swiss native, wanted to share his dream of air sports. He founded Aero Atelier in Córdoba, Argentina, back in 1995, where his dreams became a reality. The players got a chance to become flying enthusiasts with Andy, plus learn about the planes and different flying activities. Acá estamos frente al virus. Short Wing de la eh, marca Pipistrel, líder en el mundo de la aviación deportiva liviana. Acá tengo todo lo que son parámetros del motor. Claro. Que cuando lo arranca, después esto se va cambiando. Después tengo un horizonte artificial. Exacto. Velocímetro. Acá tengo el GPS con las diferentes zonas. Acá tenemos el aeropuerto de Córdoba. Con el flap, cuando tengo primero, fíjate la, la ala. Fíjate vos de este lado, ¿no? Es que se baja todo. Acá ahora está configurado solamente un asiento, como ves, el piloto. Claro. Los paracaidistas van sentados ahí en filas de tres. Puedo cargar hasta 18. Aquí por la altura a nivel del mar, cargo 16 máximo. Ready, set, go. Fuck. Y se van todos juntos. Esto es PGA Tour Latinoamérica. PGA Tour Latinoamérica returned to Córdoba, Argentina for the 84th Abierto Oste del Centro, presented by Fibercorp, kicking off the first leg of the Zurich Argentina Swing, a new competition within the competition, which rewards the top performing player across all three Argentine events with a cash prize of $10,000. Starting in Córdoba, the Zurich Argentina Swing then continues with the 110th Visa Open de Argentina and the Personal Classic in Buenos Aires in November. Córdoba Golf Club provided the stunning backdrop for another exciting tournament and in the third round, two Argentinians charged to the top of the leaderboard. With birdies on three of the last four holes, hometown hero Ángel Cabrera finished the day two off the lead. Terminar bajo par, hacer tremendo en una cancha tan, tan complicada como esta, la verdad que me deja contento. Sobre todo como terminé en ¿no? tres verdes en los últimos cuatro hoyos, eh, me posiciona bien para mañana. Tommy Cocha went on a scoring streak of his own, birdieing four of the last seven holes to join El Pato in the final group. Mi objetivo será bajar el par de la cancha, jugar con El Pato siempre es lindo, una motivación, jugué los dos primeros días con él, me llevo muy bien con él, gracias a Dios tengo una buena relación y bueno, salir a, a disfrutar y a, y a hacer lo mejor posible. There were fireworks in the final round as Cocha and Cabrera squared off for the title. But Cocha's two-shot lead quickly evaporated. 
He double bogeyed the first hole, but got a stroke back on hole two. Cabrera, the two-time major champion, took advantage of the misstep with an eagle at the second. Followed by a birdie at the third. Kocha found himself down by three after another bogey on the eighth hole. But El Pato slipped down the stretch with three bogeys of his own at nine, 10, and 11, dropping to seven under par. Kocha eagled the 12th to pull even with Cabrera. And then finished strong with three birdies in the final four holes for a four stroke victory over Cabrera. La verdad que muy contento, eh, fue un día muy lindo y muy especial ya que es un torneo que siempre soñé en ganar, lo juego desde muy chiquito, mi primera vez, mi primera vez acá fue a los 10 creo y habría, habiendo jugado con Cabrera la última salida fue más especial todavía. The 23-year-old Cocha is the first player to win back-to-back -back events on PGA Tour Latinoamérica, shooting 26 under for his last two starts. The win puts Cocha in the driver's seat for Los Cinco, and he's off to a great start in the Zurich Argentina swing. La verdad que muy agradecido por por esto con Zurich eh, es una motivación extra que tenemos para los tres torneos de Argentina y bueno empezar ganando obviamente eh, tengo un poco más de ventaja y, y bueno feliz por eso también. Coach's victory in Argentina is his third on PGA Tour Latinoamérica and the 19th by an Argentine player giving him a commanding lead in the order of merit. Coming up, we catch up with Argentina's own Ángel Cabrera in Córdoba, and then head north to cruise through the Panamanian countryside. All right, so what's up, Tom? How's it going, man? my country, I'm Omar. With Omar Tejeda and Tom Berry. Argentina, please welcome Angel Cabrera. Angel Cabrera is synonymous with Córdoba, Argentina. The local hero first won his hometown event in 1994 and clinched his eighth and latest title in 2013. At 45, El Pato is still on top of his game and at the highest level, too. Look at this shot. Oh, no. This is good golf right now. This is really impressive. Last season, he won his third PGA Tour title at the 2014 Greenbrier Classic. Put him in the win column and help Cabrera. And just one week before teeing it up at this year's Abierto Oste del Centro, presented by Fibercorp, the two-time major champion posted a top 25 at the Masters. But home is where the heart is, and Cabrera once again found space on his schedule to play in and support his backyard event. La verdad que como siempre muy contento, ¿no? de, de estar acá en Villa Allende nuevo en la Virtual Centro, en mi cancha con mi gente. Y bueno, una gran semana para disfrutar. But just a few months ago, the joy of preparing for the 84th Abierto Oste del Centro was drowned out by massive storms in the region and flooding, which killed 12 and displaced nearly 4500 people. La verdad que fue, fue algo muy feo, ¿no? Fue un desastre lo que hizo el agua, pero bueno, por suerte tenemos gente buena, gente que nos ayuda para ayudar. La Fundación, la verdad que ayuda mucho y sigue ayudando a Cádiz, a familiares y a toda la gente. Cabrera immediately stepped in to help raise money for the victims of the Córdoba floods through his Ángel Cabrera Foundation, hosting charity pro-ams in Buenos Aires. Eh, lo hemos ayudado bastante y todavía, todavía lo seguimos ayudando porque la verdad que, que le está haciendo falta mucho, ¿no? Pero por suerte, como dije antes, tenemos gente que nos no ha acompañado en esto, nos no ha brindado todo su apoyo y, y, y hemos podido sacar adelante a varias familias. Pero nunca es suficiente, cuando pasan estas cosas siempre, siempre faltan cosas, ¿no? Pero bueno, estamos en eso, estamos trabajando para, para poder ayudarlos. It's time to get to know a PGA Tour Latino America player a little better. American Stephen Fox sits down to answer five questions. 
It had to be in 2012, winning the USM. You know, that last putt that went in on 37th hole. I don't even remember it much. Kind of blacked out after it went in. Having my family there, it was unreal. Traveling's the most, most fun. Get to be on the beach, you know, up in the mountains, some places. You know, it's overall just the travel experience is so much fun. You know, Rory McIlroy is a good influence on a lot of people, not only myself, but for younger kids playing golf and just see what he does, represents himself well. His golf game's superb. I mean, he's a good person to look after. I play basketball a lot. Um, my dad and agent probably don't like hearing that. Um, you know, playing golf, maybe sprain an ankle here or there, but basketball is really what I do on my downtime sometimes when I'm home, um, which kind of keeps me going. Jumping out of playing, my dad and sister actually just jumped out last weekend in Austin, Texas, and you know, we talked about it. I think you might have to throw me out of the airplane, but I want to do that as well. That, that's probably a fear of mine right now. All right, so what's up, Tom? How's it going, man? to my country. I'm Omar. I'm Tom. How's things? Everything good, man. Everything good. Good, good. You ready for the event? I'm ready, man. I'm good. ready. All right, we're about to take a ride to Buenaventura Golf Club. Where are you from, Tom? I'm from a county called Surrey, which is about 15, 20 miles outside of London. All right. I went to school in, uh, in San Diego, played college golf, and didn't want to leave. Tell me a bit about you. So you obviously grew up here? Well, yeah, I grew up here. I started playing golf around 12 years old. I, I met this Argentinian uh, golf coach, and um, he just kind of got me under his wing. After like five years of really pushing in, I started to compete, and I just realized that this, this was it, you know, this is what I want to do the rest of my life. Tell me something, Tom, what do you think about the Nine American Tour? It's been an amazing experience. I think I played 15 or 16 events last year in 12 different countries or something, so it was it was, yeah, oh yeah, it was awesome. Most of our goals is to play on the web and the PGA Tour, so to play on one of the feeder tours and, and kind of go through that way is, uh, is what I focused on. And, and I consider myself really lucky that I have this opportunity. I mean, not many people do. I would just get into one of man. Thanks for the ride, man. Thanks, man. Coming up, Omar goes diamond hunting in Panama City and then takes Tom on a wild adventure in Rio Ato. Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. Welcome back to Esto es PGA Tour Latino America. Hola, mi nombre es Omar Tejera, jugador de PGA Tour Latino America. Estamos aquí en Panamá, sede del Lexus Panama Classic. Estamos aquí en el Panama Diamond Exchange, Estamos con Juan Manuel Enríquez que nos va a dar un tour sobre toda esta enorme facilidad y nos va a enseñar un poco sobre el proyecto. Bueno, bienvenido a todos, gracias por estar aquí. Gracias. Voy a enseñarles un poco en qué consiste este gran proyecto del Panama Diamond Exchange, primera sede de las bolsas de diamantes en América Latina. Es un complejo básicamente de intercambio de piedras preciosas, joyerías y diamantes en el cual se van a establecer compañías latinoamericanas y multinacionales de, de todo el mundo. Así que Bienvenidos y vamos a darle un pequeño tour dentro del complejo. The Panama Diamond Exchange is Latin America's first and only diamond bourse. It was established as a trading center for the diamond and jewelry marketers from around the world. The first stop of the tour was the trading floor, where the buyers and sellers do business in a secured, friendly environment. Y de vuelta solamente 100% seguro esto aquí. 100% seguro, tiene todas las condiciones necesarias para que ellos se desenvuelvan en su negocio, tiene las bóvedas, las compañías de seguridad como Brings y Malca Ami también, que les ayuda a ellos a desarrollar en esta plataforma sus negocios. The next stop was the jewelry stores, where jewelers showcase their collection to clients. Muy emocionado, muy excitado, a ver, es algo nuevo para Panamá. La idea es que esto sea un hub, un jewelry hub del mundo. Algo va a traer muchos eh, proveedores, muchos clientes, eh, muchos beneficios, eh, hoteles, restaurantes, todo se va a llenar. This world class exchange opened its doors the week of the 2015 Lexus Panama Classic presented by World Jewelry Hub. We as the Panama Diamond Exchange and World Jewelry Hub a world class project aimed uh, to develop in Latin America an industry that has not been developed here. And we believe that it's only a natural 
uh, relationship together with PGA2, who reflects the same ideas as we do. We are proud to be sponsors of this uh, beautiful tournament of the PGA Tour in Panama this year. The jewel of Buenaventura, the Jack Nicholas designed Buenaventura Golf Club, hosted the Lexus Panama Classic presented by World Jewelry Hub for the second straight year. Nestled along the shores of Rio Ato, Panama, amidst a world-class resort, Buenaventura Golf Club, along with a little help from Mother Nature, proved a challenging test. Lightning delays in round two pushed back the start of round three. But Sweden's Linus Gilgren, unaffected by the weight, climbed to 10 under par by day's end. When play was suspended due to darkness, with 10 holes remaining, with the crew from Cable Onda Sports on site, broadcasting the final two rounds live on cable TV, the final day provided plenty of drama. Gilgren's good play continued. He closed out the third round with four birdies on the back nine, charging to a four-shot lead. But as loose as he was through 54 holes, he felt the pressure down the final stretch. His sizable lead vanished after a triple bogey on eight and a double at the ninth, which opened the door for playing partner Rodolfo Casabon. With clutch birdies at 12 and 16, Casabon took control and distanced himself from the pack. Fui muy paciente, que normalmente me cuesta mucho ser muy paciente, pero en estas condiciones y sabía que siempre estaba ahí en en la pelea. Este, fui muy paciente, le pegué muy bien a la bola. The 25-year-old from Tampico, Mexico, overcame a five-stroke deficit, finishing with a final round three under par, 69, to win his first career title by two strokes. Sabía que estaba cerca porque empecé muy bien, muy bien el año. Me estaba, o sea, me sentía muy cómodo en el campo de golf. Estaba pegando muy bien a la bola y solo era cuestión de tiempo y aquí estamos. Casabon is the fourth Latin American player to win in as many events this season and jumps to second in the order of merit behind two-time champion Tommy Cocha. Up next... Have you ever ride a horse before? Never ridden a horse. Uh -uh. Omar and Tom's relaxing day at the beach turns into one crazy competition. <laughs> So we're here at the, the stables at Buenaventura. Have you ever ride a horse before? Never ridden a horse. Never? Uh -uh. This is your first time? Uh-huh. Can't believe it. <laughs> this is a Peruvian Paso horse. It's really smooth. You're gonna like it. Uh-huh. Alright, how about we head to the beach and yeah. then ride a little bit? Sounds good. Alright, let's go. There you go. Alright. Thanks. Go this side. You see that when you have them at this speed, it's pretty soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not so jumpy. Right, right. What do you think about the beach, buddy? It's pretty sweet. We're here at the beach. Uh, we want to know about some golf tips. What has worked for you when you've been uh -huh. in the bunker and you've, you've had like a really clutch Shot, you know, yeah, you have yeah, yeah. something that you really have had to like make or live really close. Yeah, what, yeah. What's something, what goes through your mind? Something for me would probably be um, how much sand I'm going to take on the bunker shot. And it has to be, for me, it has to be consistent every time. So a, a drill that I always do is um, I'm trying to impact the sand in the same spot every time. So I'll put a ball behind the ball I want to hit mm -hmm. and uh, draw a line. So you have like a guideline, right? Exactly. I mean, you obviously can't do this on the course, but when you're practicing, um, and then I'll basically just be trying to hit the sand on that line every time. Um, and that's kind of something that I've relied on in the past, especially under pressure. Um, helps me use the bounce, helps, I know exactly how much sand I'm going to take every time. And it's just consistent, so you know exactly, exactly how the ball is going to come out and land. Exactly. After the quick bunker tip, it was time to put their skills to the test. 
We could like hit it, like bounce it up and maybe like volley it. Oh yeah. Can you do that? I don't know if I, I might be able to. You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would say hit it like yep. in front of you so I don't. Got it. <laughs> ah! you, you bounce it, I, I hit it, let's see. Three strikes. <laughs> I'm out. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Wasting your time. I know. <laughs> you got that on camera though. I did that for the camera, obviously. <laughs> I think we gotta go get that with that club. When traveling through Latin America, it's always a good idea to keep your swim trunks close by because you never know when you're gonna need to go diving for ocean treasures. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Good shot, man. I guess not. I guess. <laughs> you can find all the latest news, highlights, and live scores on our website, pgatourla.com. Thanks, guys, for watching. Tom, I hope you had a great day. Yeah, man, it's been great. I mean, my first ever horse riding experience yeah, on the beach good, in Panama. Huh? So I'm oh, it was sad. a long ride from the city, but I mean, I hope you enjoy it. It's been worth it. Then we had your sea diary. Yeah, that was uh, that was fun. I mean, Hi I guys. think we should, you know, yeah. wrap it up. We'll leave you guys, and we're going to get a massage before the tournament. Let's, let's do it. Thanks, man. Thanks.